Well, we've just come to this particular hive and we're having a day now of deciding what hives have got honey to extract from. This one is a typical one, a very strong hive, and there are three boxes up there that have a potential of being removed with honey, but we've obviously still got to leave honey in for them. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take these three boxes off, make an assessment and see which of the two of the three we can actually remove. And we're going to put a, a bee escape in there, which in, makes the bees come down from the top boxes into the bottom. So tomorrow we can come along and take the boxes away. I'll come round. Yes, yeah, look at this. I'll come round. This side isn't. Off, yeah. Definitely. Off. And I'm not putting a brick on that tonight. We've just come back on our second day now, and this is the day we're going to take the two boxes that are on the very top of the hive, off the hive, and hopefully the bee escape that we put on yesterday uh, has taken all the bees down into the bottom four boxes. So when we go into those two top boxes, the majority of the bees now will have gone downwards and we can ex extract the frames and the boxes off the top of the hive. So we now have the two boxes off full of honey. There's still a fair few bees left in the box which we've got to get rid of before we take the boxes home. But you can see in the top of the hive here, the piece of kit that we use for the bees to uh, escape from. And they come actually down through the boxes and they go through those holes that you can see and through the little red cones but they can't get back up again. And that's the whole plan, that they can come down but they can't go back up. Already in a day they've built fur comb on the mesh itself. It's really heavy next flow. It's gonna be a slightly damaged comb but then I Nice heavy one. Yeah. Very few bees, aren't there? Yeah, very few bees. So it has worked. Some eyes are different to others. We're just marking them so we don't lose track of which honey comes from which hive.
So this is the sieve. You can see the bits of wax and the bits of pollen that are staying on the top. And then you can see the globules of honey uh, straining through slowly.